so about the seed so seed is actually fertilized ovule the different parts of seed micropyle the part of ovule after the seed formation the micropyle will be the opening for exchange of gases as well as absorption of water it is through this micropylar opening that the seeds will obtain water and oxygen and other gases and it will help in germinating of the seeds the structure of a dicot seed a dicot seed will have two cotyledons and what you see in the center is the embryonal axis a dicot seed can have endosperm remaining in the mature seed or they may not have endosperm so look at this seed here we can see the two cotyledons on both sides we can also see the embryonal axis but endosperm is not present so there are two types of seeds in dicot some seeds have endosperm so they are called as albuminous seeds or endospermous seeds and some seeds there is no endosperm and they are called as non albuminous seeds then about the embryo axis the embryonal axis there is a part called tissue called hypocotyle hypocotyle becomes a stem hypocotyle terminates in root tip or radical the upper part is called epicotyle epicotyle will become the shoot that means a plumule now this is the structure of a monocot seed if you take structure of a monocot seed a monocot seed will have only one cotyledon that is this this is called as scutellum and the embryonal axis is placed towards the side of the scutellum it is having plumule plumule is protected by coleoptile and radical radical is protected by coleoriza what layer you see here is a protein layer aluron layer monocot seeds like wheat grass maize all of them have got endosperm present in monocot seeds the fruit wall is closely attached with the integuments that's why the seed coat can also be called as pericarp what are seed coats seed coat before fertilization where the integuments after fertilization integuments are called seed coat or testa now the classification of seeds seeds can be classified based on the presence of endosperm non albuminous seeds means no endosperm in mature seeds for example pea groundnut and beans albuminous seeds means endosperm is present in mature seeds for example coconut castor wheat maize barley in addition to these two type of seeds some of the seeds some plants in their seeds they have new cells remaining usually new cells will get absorbed and utilized before embryo sac formation but in such seeds see this is a mature seed this is the embryo endosperm is present within the embryo sac and new cells is also remaining so there is remnant new cells the term used for remnant new cells remaining new cells in the seed is called perisperm so some seeds has perisperm present in their seeds example of such seeds are black pepper and beet now the fate of ovule parts what will these parts become in ovule integuments of ovule becomes seed coat or testa micropyle of ovule remains small pore in seed and it will help in the entry of oxygen and water during germination ovule will be called as seed dormancy seeds show a property called dormancy during unfavorable situations the embryonic activity of the seed will reduce and it will remain inactive 
this period is called dormancy period and when the seeds receive the favorable situations in the form of oxygen moisture temperature then they can break the dormancy and they will germinate